This is our second session of seven on the theme Anthem, which is an acronym, Strategies for Fighting Lust. And last time we defined lust and talked about how important it is that we have strategies, gospel strategies, Christ-exalting, blood-bought freeing strategies for fighting this monster that can destroy us and send us to hell if we don't find gospel resources to make war on it. So in this session, we're going to simply focus on avoid. A-N-T-H-E-M, and the first step or the first strategy is Avoid, Father, as we look at two passages of Scripture where you teach us how to exercise this strategic means of fighting lust, show us and, and work this will in us, because this is a great battle of our hearts, and we need your deep spiritual transforming work, and we ask for it in Jesus' name. Amen. So where in the Bible, are we taught to avoid those temptations which would awaken these sinful desires? It would be the first one I would go to. 2 Timothy 2, 19-22. God's firm foundation stands, bearing this seal. The Lord knows those who are His. That's the first seal of the foundation of his people. He knows those who are his. And let everyone who names the name of the Lord depart, <laughs> literally commit apostasy from iniquity. <laughs> like, like treat iniquity like a heresy and flee from it the way you'd flee from some demonic belief that Christ is not God or didn't die for sins. Flee from iniquity. That's another mark of the foundation that stands firm. The Lord knows those who are His, and the mark of those who are His is that they depart, commit apostasy, run away from iniquity. Now, in a great house that is so founded, the church, in a great house, there are not only vessels of gold and silver, but also wood and clay, some for honorable use, some for dishonorable. Therefore, if anyone cleanses himself from what is dishonorable, so not only depart, cleanse yourself from what is dishonorable, he will be a vessel for honorable use, set apart as holy, useful to the master of the house ready for every good work. So flee, depart, cleanse, flee youthful passions. That's the word desire, youthful lusts. And pursue, it's not just negative, it's put in its place righteousness, faith, love, peace, along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. God has in Christ purified your heart. Now call upon him to help you flee impurities. That's the way the Christian life works. So you've got this initial part of fighting lust, namely by not letting yourself come into the presence where the passions are stirred up. So we need to know ourselves what sorts of situations, what sorts of internet sites, what sorts of news sites, what sorts of sports, what sorts of TV programs have poor, condemning, defiling effects on our desires. One other text, Romans 13, 12 to 14, the night is far gone, treating the, uh, the history in which we live since Christ has come and uh, the gospel has dawned, the night is far gone, the day of resurrection and renewal and 
glorious righteousness and justice and peace. The day is at hand. So then let us cast off the works of darkness. Cast them off. Throw them away. And put on the armor of light. Let us walk properly as, is, as in the daytime. Not in orgies or drunkenness. Not in sexual immorality and sensuality, not in quarreling and jealousy, but put on. So cast off works of darkness, put on armor of light, and now put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Make Christ your garment. Make him your uniform. Make him your identifying badge of glory. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its lusts, its desires. So when you when you think about places and acts and people and um, stimulants, don't make any provision for them. Don't buy them. Don't go to them. Don't watch them. Make no provision for the the flesh to gratify its desires. Flee from them. Cast them off. So, the first step in our strategy for fighting lust is to avoid the very things, the very stimulants, the very temptations, the very visual presentations, the kind of people and associations that drag us toward lust. Be strong on the front end of avoiding. And we've seen that there is a positive dimension to this. We're acting from a pure christ saved Christ justified heart we are putting on the armor of light we are putting on Jesus Christ and in that strength we are making no provision we're turning away from the provisions of the flesh and we are fleeing youthful lusts <laughs> 